Hi, welcome to Vent Day 29. So, I'm actually quite pissed off at the moment, um, mainly with my parents, well, yeah, parents, mum and stepdad. So, this morning I hear that they're going on holiday in about two weeks' time, and they didn't bother letting me know even though they booked it over two weeks ago, and I rely on them to get lifts to work. Uh, and their expectation was, oh, he'll just get the bus in the morning. Well, the thing is, getting the bus in the morning takes over an hour and a half. That's really not ideal, and it would take me pff, another hour or more to get home. So, in a 24-hour day, I would be out of the house for 13 hours. And they just thought that I would be okay with that. Because they need someone to feed the cat. So I thought, oh yeah, Chris will be home. Let's not bother telling him. So, when she told me this, it was in the morning before I went into the shower, so I had my shower and I thought about it and I was just like, I know, I have relatives that live in town near a work. I'll just ask them if I can stay at their house for a couple of days. Which did I have, and yes, it probably is possible. So I came out and told my mum this. Oh, I probably won't be here for those days. And then she gets peed off at me and be like, Oh, you need to be here because the cat. And I'm just like, No, I don't. It's not my cat. I need to make sure I get to work on time. And that I'm able to eat my dinner and I'm not eating at nine o'clock at night because I didn't get home until half seven. Also, I need to make sure I can get to work on time that the buses are reliable because in Yarda Hastings, they're not. They're, they're late frequently. Sometimes they don't even stop for you. So it's just like, I'm not going to stay here and risk spending an hour and a half just to get home. Well, and, and to work, sorry. That that was one thing, and then we talked about it on the way in, and she's saying, I don't like your attitude, and I was like, well, I don't appreciate being told something about two weeks before it happens, and then expecting me to do exactly what you wanted me to. That's not how it works. You tell me something, oh, you're planning this, and then you say, oh, what do you think you're going to do in this situation? Then I'll have a chance to think about it and let them know. The fact is, They've now got two weeks to arrange someone to look after the cat because I've had two weeks to arrange when I need to find out where I'm going to stay for those days to make sure I get to work on time. And apparently at first I was being selfish and I was just like, well, if I'm going to put anything first, I'm going to put my job over a cat that I'm not even going to be in for 13 hours a day. Someone would need to come in and look after it anyway. So... Yeah, that was another thing. I cook dinner several times a week. I don't mind doing it. Uh, I get asked what I want to make several days in advance. And I said on Friday I want to make chicken fajitas. What I got was these whole grain protein wraps that are square. Now, I don't know how they expect me to make chicken fajita wraps if they're square. And they just didn't want to admit that they were not using their brains when they brought it. Oh, it says wraps on it. So? I think the example I said, if you see a sign that says road, but you see a brick wall in front of you, you don't drive into the brick wall because it said road on it. <sighs> yeah. Work had a bit of a shaky start in the morning. However, I think it was a test, although I think this morning um, it wasn't great, so that that affected me. Other than that, I had an alright day. feel pretty knackered though, so I'll catch you later. Bye.